So was it just my imagination or was it real? Lakeside City is right over there where you can't see because of all the trees. But you know what's strange really is back then there wasn't that many trees. These old cedars were here. But all of those trees back towards that water tower, they wasn't here. These are all mesquites. Those trees right there, mm -mm. a few here and there. People's planted them through the years. So I was just telling Nikki, back almost 40 years ago to the date, all this about where this dirt pile is, if you can see that, all that over there wasn't there. This little road right here was probably the main road the best I remember because this was just to the right of the middle. And as you can tell, we're a long ways from the middle. And now there's houses backing up to the fence over there. This cemetery is in a lot better shape than what it was back in the day. Because it's all mowed and manicured and... So did you tell them what the, the reason of coming here is? Okay, yeah. The reason in coming here. You know, I, I was asking y'all about y'all's spookiest places in the last video. But this is probably my spookiest place. It was uh, about 40 years ago, this month, and me and some associates of mine, two or three friends, we, uh, like I said, this is Lakeside City, right on the other side of these trees right here. I don't know if y'all see that little storage building right there, but that's somebody's backyard. Anyway, those houses wasn't there. And, when, I believe it was Halloween night. It was Halloween night, actually. We cut through the fence, and we was going to come investigating, looking for a ghost and stuff on Halloween night. Well, we got back to the gate, back up that way, and uh, somebody thought they heard something. So, me being the little chunky monkey that I was, tried to run with them but they was running off and leaving me these were athletic guys i'm not gonna mention their names and give them a big head they probably won't watch it anyway anyway right somewhere probably might have been this headstone right over here because i came from the gate up that way heading to the fence and if you haven't guessed it yet the grave was caved in. Yep. I went down all the way to my knee. Did I feel anything grab me? I don't know. I think I did. Or it was my imagination. And this grave would have definitely been here. Joseph E. Bright died October 12, 1890, aged 82 years. Because all these other graves are newer looking. So it had to have been that one. Like I said, this cemetery is a lot better maintained now than what it was. But can you imagine? Dark, cold, and somebody done spooked you? And all your friends are taking off and running off and leaving you. And you're running and all of a sudden, down you go. So what did you do? I screamed like a little girl. That's what I did. You jumped out. Then I jumped out and I rolled my little fat butt right across that fence over there and never came back in here after dark. I got one word for you. Stupid. <laughs> That was probably, probably my most scary, spookiest time of my life. You know, I've been startled a few times, but man, when you, when you fall down into what was a grave, 
Man, that's scary. Don't know what else to say on that one. Other than don't go running through cemeteries at night. <laughs> Let's check out the rest of the cemetery. Moral of the story is don't run through the cemetery at night. <laughs> Can't even read that one. Now you can do what you want, but <laughs> this cracker ain't going to run through no cemetery at night no more. That's all I know. Did you ever tell your mother? Yeah, I think I told mom and dad. I, don't, I think I did. Mom, leave me in a comment in the below. Or leave a comment below if I left, told you about that. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. This be Lakeside City. That's was a Royal Royal Circle. I think is the name of the road. Like I said, it's been 40 years ago that we was in this cemetery. I think we moved out to Lakeside City and the uh, the year before the tornado, because we were here in the 1979 tornado, terrible Tuesday. We watched it from out here at Lakeside City, and we had just moved out here, so I guess probably actually I guess the school year of '78. I was thinking it's 79, but actually I guess it was 78 that we moved out here. But yeah, things have changed. Now I'm going to tell you all another story. And this one you're not going to find on the news or any newspapers. Because we all think it was a cover-up. And I'm not going to say which house it was. It was one, two, three, or four. A lady came home from work one day and found her back of her husband's head blown off with a shotgun. Ruled as a suicide. Imagine that. Shooting yourself in the back of the head with a shotgun. But it was ruled as a suicide. No charges on nobody. Go figure. Now yeah. how is that possible? It's not. Exactly. But what comes you didn't get arrested. I don't know. Nobody knew. I don't know if somebody just disliked that person or he was a troublemaker and Somebody got rid of the problem? I don't know. Heard rumors that she was messing around. Somebody just killed him. They're getting out of the way. That's what I heard, but I don't know. Anyway, this is Bowman Cemetery. Out next to Lakeside City. West. Lake Wichita is right over here. Yeah. See? Can you imagine? And this is in pretty good shape. I don't think you'd trip, but you wouldn't fall. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, 1987, 1997. Granted, these seem like they're older, but like I said, that was like 1978. So, many, many moons ago. Hey, I hope y'all have enjoyed these videos and this month of October. And if you like the videos, share them, like them, do whatever you want. But subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Help us grow. Y'all keep on keeping on. We'll see y'all down the road.
Bye. Say bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Final words. <laughs> I say one word. I would have died of a heart attack. Maybe I did. And this is all just a dream. Whatever. <laughs> Bye, y'all.